Gold prices end the day lower, as ending below 1780 for the first time since August 3rd, actually the lowest trade we've seen since August 3rd. So gold, after having had a huge move from the middle part of July down around when it was around 1700, all the way up to 1824 by August 10th, has then since seen a modest move lower. Yes, the dollar's been stronger. Yes, treasury yields have been higher, uh, but still a lot of question marks over some of these central banks, including our own Fed, as well as demand for gold. So a lot of things kind of variables up in the air there, pushing gold prices down over the last week or so. Uh, ultimately, right now, gold will be watching what our Fed is doing, and we had those minutes today. They were very important. We're going to talk about those in a moment, but ultimately, gold moves lower today, ending at its lowest since August 3rd. And what does this all mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you'll notice that volatility has been trending lower recently, and this week we saw a modest uptick ahead of those minutes. That's kind of that tip of the hat to the event, which we got today after the event volatility did decline, but it basically remains unchanged on the week. So it'll be interesting to see if that volatility trend lower continues after the minutes, or do we start to see things firm up again? Because next week we have uh, the Jackson Hole Symposium. So we go from one Fed event to another week in and week out. It'll be interesting to see how volatility moves given the price action that we've seen here over the last week with prices declining and volatility declining with it. Last, let's talk about those minutes. What did the Fed really say? Well, the Fed didn't really change their outlook here. They're going to continue to remain vigilant. They're going to continue to raise rates and fight inflation at the expense of growth. But they also said that some of the rate hikes from the last couple of meetings may not have hit the market yet. So we have yet to feel the full brunt of some of those tightenings, suggesting that they may be a little less aggressive. Yes, they will still be tightening, but maybe not as aggressive as the market is priced. And right now, the market continues to be priced for about 40% odds of another 75 basis point rate hike at the September FOMC. Now, a lot can change between now and then, but obviously higher rates are going to be negative to gold and gold prices actually over the last week have been moving lower as rate expectations have remained firm. So gold prices midweek and after the minutes head lower to their lowest settle since August 3rd after FOMC minutes, but next week we get the all-important Jackson Hole Symposium from Jackson Hole, Wyoming.